I still cannot believe that I can just sit back and watch ChatGPT agent do product research for me. Seriously, somebody pinch me right now because this feels like cheating. I'm Michael Chris, seven figure merchant and CEO of Shine On. And if you stick around for the next 13 minutes, you're gonna see exactly how I went from spending hours manually clicking around on Etsy to getting better research data in about 30 minutes, completely hands free. I'm going to show you my exact setup walk through a live demo, and give you the prompt that makes it all work. I know this is something tons of people struggle with because I posted this on my Facebook page a week ago, and this post absolutely blew up. People literally couldn't believe that this was real. Well, it is real, and I'm about to prove it. Now, if you want the exact prompt I used, and I mean literally the exact prompt, the one that took me 15 iterations to figure out, just comment agent below in the comments and I will send you the download link personally. All right, let's talk about why this matters. If you've ever done product research on Etsy the normal way, you know it's freaking brutal. You come over to Etsy, you type a search term like to my daughter, gift. You scroll through pages and pages of results. You click on a bunch of products that you think look promising like this is a bestseller. This one says popular now, bestseller again. And then you open each of these products up and you start looking for demand signals like this one. It says it's in 20 carts. This one's in five carts. This one's in six carts. Then you start copy pasting all this data into spreadsheets. The entire process is mind numbing, but here's the real kicker. You still probably miss out on most of the opportunities because you just get tired after clicking on 20 or 30 products. Now I've got to tell you, I've always enjoyed product research. Honestly, it's probably one of my favorite parts of the whole process. I've spent entire afternoons digging through product pages, looking for real winners. But here's what changed literally everything. OpenAI released ChatGPT Agent. ChatGPT Agent is not just like a normal, regular conversation with ChatGPT. This is an autonomous agent that has mouse and keyboard access to the internet. It can actually browse websites and interact with them. It can click on links, it can extract data just like you, but faster, hands-free and without getting bored. Before we dive into the technical stuff, make sure you grab my prompt. Type agent below and I'll send you the link. Trust me, you're gonna want that to follow along. Now here's what my agent does that you can't do manually. It searches Etsy, it applies a filter to all of the results, and then it clicks on the first 10 results and it extracts the demand signals from the product listings. Then it returns the results in a really nice clean table. And look, it takes about nine or 10 minutes to go through nine or 10 search results, but the real trick is spinning up about 10 of these all at once. Then you can scrape 100 product listings in about 10 minutes. That's about six seconds a piece and there's no way you could do it that fast on your own. And so while I'm sipping my coffee, I'm actually doing product research across 100 different products. And I'm telling you, this isn't theory, this is becoming my new workflow. All right, now let's look at the actual prompt that makes the magic happen. Now I'm not gonna lie, this took me forever to get nailed down. I probably went through 15 versions of this prompt before I really nailed it. The key is you have to provide enough detail that the agent does exactly what you want it to do, but if you provide too much detail, the agent gets bogged down in all of that and then it takes forever to run the prompt and it comes back with really goofy results. So here's how this prompt works. At first, I tell the agent, I want to tell me perform print on demand product research on Etsy. Trying to identify product trends that are performing well right now, I want you to create a table containing the URLs and the red text demand signals for a 10 listing slice of Etsy search results. So this is basically just telling it, hey, we're doing print on demand product research on Etsy and we're only gonna be looking at 10 results and I want you to return a table as the output. Then we start getting into specifics. So I define a couple variables. First, I define search term. This is what I'm gonna want the prompt to go out and perform its search on on Etsy. Then I also have a start rank. Remember, I'm only returning the first 10 results, so I have to give it a place to start. So if I start one prompt at search result one, I can start the next prompt at search result 11, and I'll get 20 results back, and the results will be unique. Now, under the task section is where I start to really break this down step by step. And here is the real magic. It's in step one. So when you go to Etsy, there's a secret way to filter the results so it only shows you the best sellers and it requires you to change the URL. What I did was I took that URL change and I just hard coded it into the prompt. So rather than telling my agent to go to Etsy, to type in a search result, to click filters and then sort by star seller and then go change the star seller text to bet. Instead of doing all of that because it just got lost and confused in all those steps, I literally just give it the URL 
that I want it to use when it performs the search results. And this saved me a ton of time. So I tell it to scroll to the start rank. I tell it to open the 10 listings, grab the URL, grab the demand text, and then to output a table of findings that contains two columns, URL and demand text. I give it some constraints where I remind it to only do 10 listings per run because I want it to move quickly. And then also I say, don't give me any images, spreadsheets, or extra commentary, because that's one more thing that can kind of bog it down. The trickiest part here was getting it to go into the right product listings and then grab the valuable information from the product listing and nothing else. Earlier versions of this were getting so bogged down, they would go into the listing, come back with the wrong information. The table would have a bunch of extra columns in it. I had one that created a spreadsheet and tried to put all the images in a spreadsheet. It was a friggin' mess. All right, now let me show you how to actually set this up so you can get your own product research agents running it. First, you need at least ChatGPT Plus or above in order to access ChatGPT agents. Once you're in, you're gonna wanna click on Tools down here in the bottom left and click agent mode. And then all you gotta do is paste in the prompt. Then we need to go in and edit the variables. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna scroll down to where it says search term and I'm gonna type to my daughter gift. And then for start rank on this particular prompt, I'm gonna put one. And that's it. That's literally all you have to edit in this particular prompt. Now here's where it gets really powerful though. I'm going to get 10 of these going at once. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to duplicate this tab. We'll do it 10 times. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. And in each tab, it automatically duplicated my prompt. But if it didn't for you, you just copy paste it back in there. And then all you got to do is go back to the variables and you need to just change the start rank. So my first tab, we're starting at start rank one. So in the next one, I wanna go at 11. In the next one, I'm gonna go at 21. In the next one, I'm gonna go at 31. And you can see when I edit these, it kind of changes the formatting of the prompt, but that's okay, the agent doesn't really care. So I'll change that to 51. All right, now that I have all those ready to rock and roll, I need to make sure that uh, under tools, I have agent mode set up. It doesn't copy that over when you make a new tab. So I'll do that real quick. All right, here we go. Now I'm just gonna run through and press enter on each of these. Let's go. Did you see how simple this setup was? Don't forget to comment agent below so I can send you my free prompt for how to do this. It's literally the key to everything you're watching right now. Oh, look at this. They put up some guardrails. I can't run 10 of them at once. So I've got to run these in batches of five, but seriously, that's no problem. Five is still way faster than I could ever do on my own. And look at this freaking thing go. Here it is on Google. It says it's navigating to Etsy. This one here is already reviewing some of the search results. And you can see, look, popular now, bestseller, bestseller, bestseller. It's already applied the filtering, so you don't have to do that manually anymore. And it's just thinking about what it sees right now on the screen. Here's one that navigated to a product listing already. And you can see it found the in-demand text where it says in 20 plus carts. I think you can see now, this is where the time savings just become so obvious. Like it's scanning through all of these results on its own, undirected after the initial prompt, saving me tons and tons of time. And one of the coolest things about this is the agents don't get tired. They don't get distracted. They don't start browsing random products just because they look cool. They literally just stick to the mission that you outlined, which is find trending products, extract the demand signals, put them in a table. Look, while these finish up, let me tell you why this is super important. The speed of your research directly impacts your ability to capitalize on trends. If you can spot trends up to two or three weeks before your competitors, those are potential sales that you get to benefit from that they won't. And look, I can run up to five of these agents all at once. So I'm sipping my morning coffee. I have agents researching 50 trending products for me. And look, this isn't theory. I mean, this is my new workflow. Sip coffee and send my bots to work. Is it 2025 or fricking what? All right, it looks like we're getting some search results back. Let's see what we found. So you can see I've got the five tabs going and in each of them, it output a table that looks the exact same. You have the URL, and then you have the demand text that it scraped from the product listing. So that's perfect. And it looks like each of these ran for a different length of time. So my fastest one this time around ran for 11 minutes. And then we had 15 minutes, 18 minutes, 30 minutes, and then 26 minutes. Usually it's weird. Sometimes these will run in about nine minutes. Sometimes they take a little bit longer. The important thing though is you're completely hands-free the entire time. So it's just running in the background, which is awesome. So now let's compile all these into a spreadsheet and see what we found. So I'm just gonna come into one of my tabs here and I'm just gonna 
copy the entire table. I'll pop over to Etsy, paste. It puts in the headers for me and everything. Now I'm just gonna do that for each tab. Then I'll clean up the headers. I'm gonna apply a filter. Then I'm gonna sort all my demand text. I'm just gonna alphabetize it so I can see all of the similar demand text right next to each other. And now I can get a pretty good idea of the demand for each of these products. So you can see all of these are in 20 plus carts. So all those are pretty freaking hot right now. We'll go look at those in a second. These here are running low on inventory. Those might be interesting to look at too. Let's go click a few of these and see what we came up with. Just gonna open, you know, four or five of these that are in 20 plus carts. Yeah, and look at these. So this one's in 20 plus carts. This one's in 20 plus carts. Look at this. That's a super simple personalized name blanket. Perfect for print on demand. Perfect for print on demand. Shine On has these right now in its product catalog. You can use a tool like Anywhere POD or Hello Custom to personalize this particular item. It says eight people bought this in the last 24 hours. Here's another one. This is a really great message card jewelry item. To my amazing mother-in-law, when I fell in love with your son, I was falling in love with the boy you raised into an incredible man. This is a great phrase. This is exactly the type of gold you want when you're in print on demand. You can take this phrase now and you can test it out on your own. Again, Shine On has message card jewelry. And here's another one. It's a letters to my son journal. It's in 20 plus carts right now. And guess what? Shine On has leather journals. I'm telling you the difference between successful print on demand merchants and everybody else is not creativity. It's intelligence. It's being able to do product research, identify things that are resonating with an audience, things that are trending and being able to do that before anybody else. So there you go. Completely hands-free, completely autonomous. We had 50 products research for us, all in demand, all trending with their demand signals. We were able to easily compile them into a spreadsheet, basically served up on a freaking platter. To go through 50 products like this the old way would have taken probably a couple hours. But with this new way, I was literally able to spin up five agents. They all ran autonomously in the background while I sipped my coffee and did other stuff. It's not just a time saver anymore. It's a competitive advantage. I mean, just think about this. If you can research 10 times faster, you might be able to make two or three times as many products, which could be two or three times as many tests as your competitors. So look, if you're ready to automate your product research just like this, make sure you comment agent below so I can send you the prompt that you saw in action here. It was literally the key to making all of this work. And if this kind of blew your mind a little bit, please do me a favor, hit subscribe, hit like on the video. It's completely free, it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me a ton. And I've got plenty more AI automation videos coming. So until next time, stop researching like it's 2019. The future's here and it sure looks like the future's gonna be automated. See you in the next one.